Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to my workshop, and welcome to another build. I have been asked by many of you to do a river table guitar. I have listened. I'm going to be taking this fantastic 3,000 odd year old piece of bog oak and uh, I'm going to uh, clean it up, plane it down, slice it up a little bit, uh, gold leaf the live edge bits and then flood it with resin and make a guitar out of it. And you? You're going to watch. Let's go. Let's stay put and dust it down a little bit first. This has been around for a while. Air filter. So I need to decide which edge I want to use as my uh, river, as it were. Now what I want to do is something that most people who make resin guitars do not, and that is I'm going to carve this. So. Uh, Yet again, I'm doing a Les Paul style instrument. I think that edge, covered in gold leaf, a bit of resin carved through, that's all going to look rather good, isn't it? Templates. Mm. I suppose if we go through there, I might have enough there for the fretboard. That'd be cool. I don't know, I might be using one of our kit necks. Or I could have it going over the edge and have gold on with. Mm. Oh, I like that idea. Well, in that case, there's my baby. See it. We're going for a live edge here, where it's pretty. We're going for a live edge here, where it's pretty. And then basically, all I need is a thin sliver from this side, there. That will do. Ooh. Okay, quick snapshot, because I'm gonna plane this flat now. This is, uh, this is rather cool, yeah? This, this is gonna this is gonna be pretty cool. The chasm of death with gold. All right then, we have got some amazing clear cast by Illumilite. Uh, this is from uh, House of Resin, and this is uh, nice thin stuff with which I am going to seal this. The last thing I want is bubbles. So uh, initially, I'm going to brush this out. It's already been blown out using a compressor, but I just want to get rid of any bits that have stuck on or might fall off in the process, like that one. Um, I am going to then mix up some of this resin, seal just the live edges. So we've got the three live edges. I'm going to seal those initially. There are some big gaps and bits and pieces. I am then over the next week going to essentially flood the rest of this and seal it, seal it, seal it. I do not want any gaps to have any air in them whatsoever. 
bubbles of the enemy. Too big. You know, too much, isn't it? Really? Anyway. No dust. Slightly less important in this build because I am <sighs> splintering myself and throwing things. Ow, that's it. All right, well, that's sore. Oh, hold, hold that thought. Yeah, splintering myself and distracting myself. I wonder if this is like Wenger at all. It's only a small splinter, but it hurts like buggery. Hey, success. Now that that embarrassment is over, where's my brush? There's my brush. Not that that matters too much, because uh, I'm going to be gold leafing these edges anyway. And gold is, you know, not porous. So hopefully the whole gold leafing process is gonna seal these sides even more. But uh, yeah, here we go. It's gonna be so pretty. This is uh, one to one and I want about 300 mil. Cause we have some other stuff to do. I don't know why I've got this on a scale. We're not actually using the scales. This is fun. Gosh, that's pretty. I should probably stop playing around. This is a fairly quick drying product. Yeah, about four minutes. There's no streaks in there. That looks good. The application. Okay, it's been a few weeks since the last shot, and uh, we've been sealing this bog oak uh, with resin, as you can see, nice and shiny. It still has massive cracks in it. The resin has gone most of the way through, and at this point, I really want to get on with the, uh, the gold leafing, etc. and come and have a look at this. So, very basically, I need to fill these. The crevices of doom. Uh, because I don't want any bubbles to be getting out. There's, uh, oh, you can't see that. There we go, there's some more. A massive one on the end. Uh, and what I'm going to be doing with that is a mixture of uh, black super glue and ebony dust. Because because that's the quickest way of doing this. I want to gold leaf today. Here we go. No deep cracks. Time for some gold. Okay. So I'm going to use some of the, uh, the modern finish grain enhancing filler and uh, we make this stuff with a ball bearing in it to mix it properly. Um, it's good stuff. So it's got a high solid content as a grain filler, but uh, also works very well 
this gold paint. Quick drying too. Okay, that is curing. Okay, so we have, yeah, one to two hour curing gold size. And now the waiting begins. It's been about an hour and it's a little bit sticky to the touch. Uh, I want most of it, if not all, to be basically dry to the touch, but not quite, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, on a flat surface, you want something called the squeaking size. So it's dry to the touch, but if you run your finger along, it makes a squeaking noise. There's just enough to grab your finger and make a squeak. And that is what I'm waiting for. I'm basically just checking it every four or five minutes actually put my finger in see what it's like and then the panic truly begins I've done three sides once it starts going off it's gonna go off and I might not have enough time to leaf the third one <laughs> we'll see so close so close okay uh, look let's let's um, so uh, I have a, a side side project um, to metal band. No, wait, country and western band. Um, VintageToolshop.com, uh, mainly because I have a, a weakness. And I need a constant supply of new vintage tools. I had a fantastic job lot of gold leaf come through. Uh, this is very delicate stuff. Okay, camera person moved and the the leaf went flying. So I'm gonna just see what happens on an edge. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so it's almost. I'm gonna give it like five minutes tops, maybe 10. And then, uh, and then crack on. This is a, an iffy surface. So yeah, once this is all cured, then I'm going to go back and 
brush off any excess. But it's definitely, well, definitely working. Ready yet? You are ish. You are ish. This is fun. 